I had a couple of uh, Mormon missionaries come by yesterday. And I invited them and we sat in the back and had a fascinating discussion. So I'm actually, you know, I've talked with different people before. I generally like to talk with anybody from any particular persuasion, you know, and learn more and share. And uh, so I'm going to, but this time I went, you know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read this Book of Mormon and see what the story is all like, you know. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. That has nothing at all to do with the poems that I'm going to read. <laughs> <laughs> These are just three poems that I wrote. Actually, I didn't make it last week because there was a forest fire along 299 and they shut the highway down, <laughs> so we didn't make it. Um, so I had started writing poetry again and I wrote these three, but not great, they're kind of exercises. Um, but uh, this one deals with the fall, so the timing is right. When fall steps in to ease the summer burn and memories of cool swims fade amongst the falling leaves, I sit beneath the cherry tree and think of then and now and what has been. And when the first snow falls upon the fallow fields and wood piles shrink and turn to ash and lovers cuddle neath the comforter, I think, it all, I think of all that we have done and what may come. And when the first shoots break the duff and ewes give birth to lambs and evening gross beaks feast upon our seeded lawn, I think of my children and all that they may be. Until the summer light at last warms again the pool and roses bloom aplenty, at which time all my thinking stops. I simply take the plunge. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And this one is a true experience, which happened about a month ago when the Pisces, when the moon was full, Pisces moon in Virgo sky. Picking up the pieces of the Pisces moon beneath the Virgo sky, I pause to sense your presence, though you are far away. A rumble disturbs the dark serenity. A car comes cruising by, and then the gun goes off. Dogs bark as though they have seen a fox. Birds chirp like fireflies of sound. A helicopter hovers on the horizon humming. And then the phone rings, and it is you chuckling. <laughs> This was written at a, around the same time as I was sitting. I had been reading the Dhammapada um, sayings of the Buddha and was getting into a man, you know, I've never, you know, this is like, you know, taking the plunge into meditation, um, you know, which I still don't understand. There is an oval in my pool crawling toward a hidden drain. It seems the plumber has installed a wormhole to a land insane. Relax, the dragonfly replies. The oval is a mere disguise, hiding tiny little eyes within the whispers of the wise. Enough meditation for today, I think. Perhaps I'll go and have a drink. <laughs> Thank you very much, Nadia and Peter. I just wanted to share with you from the depth of my heart a wave of love. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.